Hey, Karis Crew, if you're a part of Karis Crew, you're awesome. If you're not, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. For today's video, I will be sharing with you guys some delicious treats to make for Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day, whatever you're celebrating. We don't need a reason to eat good, all right? So watch this video, be inspired, get in the kitchen and make some goodies. So the first treat, we're starting it off with some delicious cookies, some Pillsbury cookies. You could get the Fun Fetty or the Birthday Cake. They are amazing, okay? And I'm not going to eat the cookies by themselves. I'm going to eat them with some hot cocoa. You know, it's going to be a full experience. Marshmallows, hot cocoa, cookies. Mmm, I'm excited. Do you guys like your hot chocolate with water or milk? I like to boil my milk. And it's so good, so warm, and relaxing. For your cookies, you can also get the Valentine's heart-shaped uh, sugar cookies. Those are also really good. They're soft. And they taste very yummy. If you guys eat the Christmas cookies, then you know what I'm talking about. Don't these look so delicious, guys? It's like birthday cake meets Lucky Charms meets just deliciousness. It's amazing. Go make them, all right? You guys will enjoy them, I promise you. And have them with some tea or some hot cocoa. All right, let's get into number two, Valentine's Day treat number two. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? I see a bunt cake maker, a mini bunt maker. Shout out to Neil Love for purchasing this bunt maker for me. They saw it and they thought of me. I'm so honored. <laughs> but guys, look how cute this mini bunt maker is. Like, number one, let's talk about the color. If you don't know by now what my favorite color is, I don't know what you're doing. But yeah, look at this color. It's beautiful. It's a mini bunt maker. I've never even seen this before. As you guys know, or you probably might not know, I have a mini sandwich maker, a mini cake pop maker. Cake pop maker. Cake pop maker. And now I have a mini bunt maker. So we're going to make some bunt cakes for Valentine's Day and we're gonna see how it turns out is it gonna cook quickly or is it gonna take like 20 minutes to make a mini bun cake let's see so here i am taking out all the equipment on the box it said that it was supposed to come with some recipes now when i emptied out the box i didn't see any recipes so i'm a little disappointed but it's okay because i already have my idea in mind so i'm gonna make some dark chocolate fudge mini bun cakes and then i'm gonna decorate it once it's finished baking comment down below if you guys think i should try these chocolate cake waffles that were on the box on the back of the box <laughs> on the back of the box because that looks really good also i kind of want to make some red velvet waffles that would be really delicious so after i put all the ingredients together and i mixed it all up i poured my batter into my mini bunt cake maker and here it is after five minutes guys look at it it's rising oh and this is after seven minutes so it's finished it's done and it's ready to be taken out and put on a plate look at it it looks so perfect like a professional i love it it's so cute and tiny but also the perfect portion you don't want to overdo it this valentine's day you want to eat good but you don't want to eat too many sweets all right so now it's time for decoration time decorating let's decorate together you guys i found this at walmart for 188 and you get three of them how perfect is that i got some vanilla frosting and some strawberry syrup we're ready to decorate all right so we let it cool off then we're gonna try to apply some frosting now i didn't get an icing bag a piping bag whatever you want to call it because i figured i could just use a spoon right but looking at it now i kind of wish i did get a piping bag but it's okay it's still cute right 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 <laughs> Let's get into number three. Treat number three. What's it going to be? Oh, it's going to be some cupcakes. Who doesn't love cupcakes? They're the perfect size and they are chocolate fudge deliciousness. So I used the remaining batter from my bunt cakes and I made some cupcakes. And here they are, nice and chocolatey. Mm. Then I sprinkled some of my Valentine's Day sprinkles on it. It looks so pretty, like little crystals, little speckles of red sand. Honestly, guys, I'm kind of tired. I don't know if you can tell because usually when I'm tired, I ramble, but I'm, I'm, I'm pulled together. So here we are. We have the button cakes. It has some vanilla frosting and different arrangement of sprinkles on each bun cake. And it looks really good. I'm really impressed with how these turned out. And I'm excited for other people to try it. Let me know how it goes when you make them. Okay? 
Let's get into the next treat. Treat number four. What's it going to be? Ooh, what's it going to be? I think it's going to be a brookie. A cookie brownie, aka a brookie. Brookie, brookie, brookie. I'm excited to make this because I love eating brookies and now I get to make it myself. So on the box, it tells you that you need some water, some vegetable oil, and one egg for the brownie batter. And for the cookie batter, you're going to need some butter and some water. So the first thing you're going to do is mix your ingredients for your brownie batter. So here I am showing you guys my delicious brownie batter. Next, I made the cookie batter and I dropped nine tablespoons onto the brownie batter. And here it is when I took it out the oven. And it looks pretty good. It looks very, very, very chocolatey. I see the fudge oozing out right now. Comment down below which one of these do you think you're going to try? Which one are you going to make soon? All right. I want to know which one you're most excited to bake at home. Comment below. Okay, guys, let's get into our fifth and final treat. I'm excited to bring this treat to you guys because I know you're going to love it. I know that I loved it. If you are a fan of Red Velvet, then I know you will like this. If you are a fan of milkshakes, then I know you're going to love it because it tastes so delicious. At first, I wasn't sure about the combination because I never put cake mix inside of a blender to make a milkshake, you know? Like, I use cake mix to make cake cupcakes, so I was a little like, uh, I don't know if this is going to be good or not. However, once I applied all the ingredients, I blended it up. Listen to me. You are going to love this milkshake, okay? All you need is some cake mix, some milk, ice cream, vanilla extract, and you're good to go. And if you want to, you know, spice it up a bit, you get some sprinkles, some whipped cream, and then you have a good time. Okay, time for my favorite part. We're pouring it in, and at first I'm like, oh, it's a little liquidy. I kind of like my milkshakes to be more thick. However, when you apply the whipped cream, it thickens it up. And... Here I am applying some strawberry syrup. We can't forget about the strawberry syrup. Now I'm going to dress it up even more by adding some sprinkles. So cute. Let's get some more sprinkles up in this drink. Ah, how cute are those little hearts? Okay, now it's time for taste testing time. Is it going to be delicious? Is it going to taste as good as it looks? Also, how cute is my cup? Women can. We love to see it. Women. Are amazing <laughs> okay guys so for this video I decided to give my family a break if you watch my videos then you know that they're always testing out my food and they did test it out I just didn't film it I gave them a break from the camera but don't worry they will be back very soon for today's video it's just me testing out my milkshake so I hope you guys aren't too disappointed uh, let's get into how I feel about this shake. So my initial impression, my first sip, I was like, whoa, this is sweet. It wasn't overwhelmingly sweet, but it was it was sweet. So if you are trying to cut back on your sweets, then you probably don't want to make this shake. However, if you are living life on the wild side, just kidding, <laughs> you definitely want to make this milkshake because it's very good. Also, it doesn't hurt to try it out. If you don't like it, you don't have to make it ever again. And you can always give it to see. someone who can loves sweets, me right? Here? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go for another sip. <laughs> Delicious. Amazing. Try it out. You guys will love it. Also, do you like my microphone? Do you like a microphone? That is all for today. Comment down below your favorite treat that I made. I look forward to seeing you guys next Friday. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey you. Yeah you. Don't forget to catch up on previous videos.